Welcome to the Tom Ball Museum video series, episode 7. In this episode, we're going to cover one of Herman Chapman's hollow planes. Herman Chapman lived between 1799 and 1886. In 1825, he formed a partnership with Daniel Copeland, and they called it Copeland and Chaplin. And then 1828, Herman Chaplin made his own company, and now it's called Union Factory. This auto plane was manufactured between about 1828, 1830-ish, something like that, probably 1850, somewhere probably in that range. Um, it's a hollow plane because it cuts a round in a piece of wood. So what exactly does a hollow plane do? A hollow plane simply puts a little round on your piece of wood, for example, like this. So this could be the edge of a table. It could be like the front of a bookshelf, and this is the shelf that goes in. It can round and curve this. And also you have, typically these are sold, um, called hollows and rounds. And a round is this little guy, and it'll make little grooves like this in your workpiece. On some of these planes, there's numbers. On this number, there's a number six. Number six refers to a seven and eighth inch uh, width of a blade, but this one, it doesn't mean that. Back in the day, all the number systems weren't the same. Different manufacturers use different numbers for certain things. In this case, it means it's one sixth of a circle that I'm thinking that's what it means. So if I got this and I drew on here six times, it becomes a circle. So it is, this is a one sixth of a circle. That's what that particular one means. You can see this is uh, one for my collection. You can see how much smaller than it, that is. This also has a number six on it. This also is one sixth of a circle. So you never know exactly what those numbers mean. You have to find that manufacturer and look that stuff up. I have not memorized all that because there's a billion of these different planes out there. Probably this plane is in one of the better shapes than, uh, than the others that I would use for, um, for the museum. It's in really good shape. So, when I got this in, the blade was pretty pretty rusted, and I had already previously sharpened this before I started this video. And always, I just lap the back to make sure the back is completely flat. Super important. And then I cut this um, rounded uh, shape with this plane. And then now what we can do is we can put a piece of leather on there, and I've already charged this with compound. And I can get inside that curvature right there. So now, let's see how this cuts. We're going to use this piece of pine right now, and then uh, we're going to switch it up to oak. Let's go ahead and round this corner on this one. Now, of course, before we put the, the uh, hollow plane on there, we got a flathead. Of course, we got a flathead. We're going to use our good old number five Stanley. Make that all pretty looking. Now we can come in with a hollow plane. Now before we start cutting, we've got to adjust this iron. So I'm going to go ahead and, and make the quick adjustments real quick so we can get a little cut out of it. I'm just going to put the iron down just a little bit and start getting a tiny bit of a cut. All right, let's see what that does. Very nice. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Let's go ahead and put a piece of oak in here. And um, let's try this side. Let's see what happens with oak. Nice, clean little shavings. Well, this old Herman Chapman plane works beautifully. Nice thin shavings, even with the oak, we got the iron nice and sharp, and put us some good profiles on these pieces of wood. They look really nice. So this is ready to be used for furniture making. It was really nice to be able to do this Herman Chapman plane. If you want to see this plane or the other planes that I've done for the museum, or you want to learn about Tomball history and see artifacts, visit www.tomballmuseumcenter.com.